Though efforts to increase stimulus checks to $2,000 are still underway in Congress, it doesn't change what President Trump has signed off on. So here's what you can take to the bank. Most individuals will receive $600 tax-free, couples will receive $1,200, and families will receive an additional $600 for each dependent child 16 years old or younger. But like the first stimulus payment, there are income thresholds. To find out what you can expect, begin by looking at last year's tax return. If you filed as an individual and your 2019 adjusted gross income was $75,000 or less, you'll get the full $600. If you are a couple filing jointly and have a combined income of $150,000 or less, you'll receive $1,200. And if you made more than that, the money you receive will decrease by $5 for every $100 in income above those thresholds. Don't worry, there are several stimulus calculators online to help you with the math, but just know the payment is reduced to zero if your income hits $87,000 as an individual or $174,000 as a couple. If you're wondering when your payment will arrive, the answer will depend on if you signed up for direct deposit with the IRS. Those who have could start seeing the money in their accounts in the next week or two. Those who haven't may not even see a check in the mail. That's because according to the relief bill, there is a January 15th cutoff for the IRS and Treasury to send relief checks. After that, you'll need to claim your payment as a recovery rebate credit on your federal tax return. So the timing will depend on when you file. And speaking of your federal return, if you didn't qualify for a stimulus payment because your 2019 income was too high, but you qualify now due to a loss of income in 2020, you can also claim your payment as a recovery rebate tax credit. And the same is true for anyone who had a child this year. Your payment may take a little longer for your little bundle of joy, but you too can claim a $600 recovery rebate credit for each new addition to the family when you file your taxes. Now the rules will hold up, but the money in your bank account will increase, of course, drastically if the Senate follows the lead of the House in improving or increasing that money to $2,000 per person. But here's why it's an uphill battle. Senate Republicans who are in the majority have largely pushed back against it, despite efforts by the president to push for $2,000 checks. And of course, the man who really holds a lot of cards here, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, well, he hasn't quite weighed in on that yet. Jana? That's what makes it the stimulus showcase showdown right now, Kent. We don't really know if it's going to happen. But if the increase doesn't happen, if the Senate doesn't pass it at 2000, that 600 still coming. Is there any chance that President-elect Biden will push for a third stimulus as he starts his term after January 20? Well, the answer is yes. He's made no uh, secret of the fact that he would support more stimulus, perhaps his $2,000 payment. Now, keep in mind, though, it doesn't fix what's going on in the Senate, and that's where all of this could come down. And by the way, Jana, in case everyone's been sleeping under a rock, there is an election that will decide the fate of the Senate down in Georgia coming up here shortly. I mean, Kent, there's really no other way that America wants to kick off 2021 than with an election. I mean, nothing hey, says Hey, you know, year. what more could you ask for, right? Right. Here, here we go. Here we go. Thank you so much, Kent.